In this video we're going to show you how to make a window sticker for Christmas, your child's favourite character, or maybe even a superhero. The first thing to make sure is that you have the right equipment around. Um, let me start off with uh, the designs I intend to do. I've done them out the size I want to. Now what do we outline onto? This is very good stuff. This is a, a silicon sheet. Nothing sticks to this. Um, I got the two millimeter. I wish I'd got the one. It's slightly difficult to to pipe through two millimeters. Uh, but I got the two millimeter. It's very good. Little bit opaque, but you, you can see the design okay. So sometimes I use that. Many people won't have a silicon sheet. I got this one off eBay. So equally as good, or just about as good. Do you recognise this? It's a, a a pocket you use in a, a, a file. Now, you can get smooth versions, you can get rough versions, which are again, semi-opaque. This is the smooth, clear version. It's not got any folds in it, completely smooth. That's quite important. And you'll find outlining and peeling off this is actually quite easy. So, I shall put my design in there. And I want something to stiffen that up. Now a bit of cardboard is fine, but I've got a, a sheet of clear acetate, acetate, um, perspex I suppose. And I'll show you why I like using that later. And normally what I'd do is make sure all those three are level, levelish. A little overlap there and I'll put a bit of masking tape just to ensure it all stays in the same place and doesn't move around on me. I'm not going to put it on the back bit, just fold it over so it sticks to the acetate sheet in there as well. So there we go, a little bit of masking tape keeps it all together in the right place. So that's what I'm going to paint for the window stickers and obviously I will need an outliner. Well, you can get many outliners which are peelable. Not all outliners are peelable, but many are. Uh, this is C2, this is Gallery Glass, they are both um, peelable as is this Fun and Fancy by uh, Marabou and I even managed to do it with the, the Aqua Glass uh, which is Dewcrafts. Just make sure it is peelable, you can easily test a little bit if you want. So that's the outliner, peelable outliner and obviously likewise we'll need a peelable paint. Again there are lots to choose from uh, that's a Brian Clegg one. This is Stanjo Window Colour. Uh, Beryl. The ever popular Gallery Glass. I think we've got another one here. Yep, Glass Design. I know those are all peelable glass paints. I have to say, personally, a lot of the time I use ones I've made myself. That's a different video, uh, but it's just another, just think of it as another peelable glass paint. So we've got our paint, we've got our outliner, we've got our design, and we've got something we'll be able to peel it off. You can do it on glass. Um, acetate's not so good. Some acetate's okay, but mostly acetate's very, quite difficult to peel it off because the paint actually can seep into the acetate itself a little bit. Uh, you need something which is n totally non-porous. Um, I say that's why I find these uh, folder pockets so useful. I also store my window stickers on them. So that's all that. The first thing we're going to do is get on and outline the designs. I won't make you watch all of that. I'll show you a bit, but we do have videos and help documents on the site on glasspainting.uk which are specifically about outlining so if this is your first time outlining 
you may want to look at those first. Right, let's get on and do some outlining. Now, I've made my little piping bag. I know other people prefer pipe from bottles, whatever. I always prefer piping bag. As I said, see the other videos on the site if you need to piping. Um, just cut the end to the size I want. Give it a little test. Do it up there out of the way. Yeah, that seems fine. And I'm going to get on and pipe these designs. Well, that's the outlining completed, and now we're going to need to get on with the painting. The first thing I'm going to do is take the sheet out, and you'll see now why I like working with a clear sheet underneath. It means it's still solid, but I'll be able to lift it up and see any paint bits I've missed with the paint. I will, however, work over the white sheet, but I say I will be able to lift it up now and see any bits I've missed. I'm going to paint it like this and then when I've finished I'll put it somewhere flat and put some pots on it etc just to make sure it stays absolutely flat. Obviously I have my paintbrush, mine's a solid type. Um, some people don't use paintbrushes at all, they, they do it straight from the bottle. I like to have my paintbrush to get it into the little corners. I also have a little cocktail stick or toothpick or whatever just so I, I can get any odd bubbles which I can't get with my paintbrush. So I'm going to start with this dragon. Again I won't show it you all but there are some things to remember as you do it and at the end I'll give a couple of extra tips. A little bit of um, kitchen towel there just to clean my brush and to get these bits and I shall now start so I'm putting it on roughly where I want it I can already see a couple of bubbles there you've got to make sure it gets up to the line if you don't have it up and onto the line it could tear when you come to peel it off. There we go, I think uh, I'll have a bit on the tail there. Maybe. Do we want any more? No, I think that should do for the yellow. These probably aren't the colours I would choose if I had a free choice. I am actually restricted. I'm using the gallery glass paints. Uh, basically to show you, they're the most popular paints. And wanted to show you how they use. Too much there, but it doesn't matter. It will be moved around. So let's get on and move some of that with the paintbrush. Make sure you get up to the edges. And I will lift it up every now and then just to make sure it is going where I need it.
some people do use the cocktail stick to try and get the paint a bit more evenly spread let me show you they will do this I do like using it for doing things like this give me a little bit of mottled look All right. now you may have noticed there were some little marks on the body of the dragon on the design I haven't put those in those were little outlining bits a bit like uh, there are some on the flower as well I put those in after because little dots can lead to the paint tearing you'll notice when you come to peel it off it's the outliner which is mostly stuck um, so little dots are quite difficult so I will put those in afterwards so they're on top of the paint not underneath it okay. actually important to get up right up to the outliner don't worry if it goes on to the outliner it will still show through clearly when it's stuck up against the light and what I can do in a second is lift that up and just see I'm going to be able to see gaps like over there. A bit more paint gap there. Make sure all these bits are covered. And put a little bit more paint down there. And a bit more paint up there. And it's too thin. Lift it up again, just double check, you can see a gap there, thin bit there, And there, I think we've just about got that finished. I obviously went, we'll leave it to dry and then I'm going to do black and white on the eye. Okay, we'll not show you every single bit of painting, but maybe a bit more of this, speed it up. And then I've got something to tell you about gaps. Now for this second piece, I'm going to use my own pipe and peel paints um, I like this I can make it it's slightly more flowing so it's on with the paintbrush which makes it slightly more difficult to peel off the first time you do it but I do like the effect it gives obviously this is a gold I'm gonna do 
all of the first part are not in this gold. Obviously making sure it all gets up to the line. And that there's no gaps. So plenty of paint on there. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to make you sit watch every little bit of this painting. So I'll finish most of it off and we'll come back and talk about another couple of important points. So we've just about finished the painting. You can see them all there. But before we finish completely, I want to talk about things like this, gaps. Now you can leave them as they are, but when they're just odd lines like this, the stalks, you're, you're facing trouble when you come to uh, peel it off and keep on re-sticking it. Same applies, not so much, I'll probably get away with it, but same applies in this. Um, there's lots of gaps. The best thing to do I've found is to fill these with clear. I've got a clear glass paint here and it's just as though you were painting normally. I know it looks white, it will dry clear. Quite a good job because you can see where you painted it then. So exactly the same, make sure you get up to the lines, make sure you get plenty on there. And I say it will dry pretty much clear. Right, I'm going to carry on and finish these and then I shall leave them overnight to dry and tomorrow we shall have the fun of trying to peel them off. Okay, we've reached the last bit. Well, just about the last bit. You can see the pieces have been completed. I did put the marks onto the dragon. Obviously, being me, I didn't leave it there. I put the marks on the flowers. I put some little marks on this as well. And I have done this one as well. If you can see, I've actually overpiped the whole thing. Now the next bit is perhaps the most difficult, it's getting it off what we've painted it on. If you do tear it, don't worry, put it back down again and you can repaint it. Not the whole thing, just the, where the tear is or maybe the section the tear is in. But let's see if we can get them off without tearing. I'll start with this because it tends to be easier. Go slowly, it's only the first time you can have issues taking it off. After that, it should go on and off with no problems at all, whether it's back onto here or onto the some sheet to keep it safe or onto your window. But this first time, just take it slowly and carefully. And it does tend to be the outliner which sticks the most but also it's the outliner which can take the most pulling so try to pull the outliner when at all possible and there we are it's off and so from now, now on it should stick on not particularly to this because it's not very good for sticking but it should stick on and come off there we go we stuck it to that this, this is the sort of the sheet, same sheet we painted on and the sort of sheets I store them on. Okay, well let's try the others and see if we have equal success. You will notice the clear is dried and is now clear. Let me do this slowly and we'll see how we go. There we are, off in one piece and it will stick on again 
but this time should be <laughs> a lot easier to take off. If they ever stop sticking just wipe the back with a damp cloth and it will be back to sticking again. Right, I'll carry on and do these other two and then we'll do a final bit hopefully in front of a window. Okay well we've finished making our pieces and as you can see from my front door you don't have to stick to single pieces you can mix them up. Let me just quickly apologise both for the sound quality I'm having to use the camera and for the light quality. Obviously this is very bright, I'm very dark, it's not been done on purpose. So you can build your picture up. When I'm not using them I do store them on the pockets. You can see from this one. I will just peel off there and Peel onto your window. There we go. Sorry. Put them onto your window and you can add to the uh, realize it's just put that a bit too high. So off it comes. A little bit of care. There we go, that's better. If they ever, ever stop sticking, just wipe the back down. Just wipe the back down with a damp cloth and they will stick again. So you can build your picture up, have things, take things away, or just have a single piece. This is actually made the Wee Poo, that's one piece. Pooh Bear's another piece. This is just a single strip of outliner. Comes off, another strip of outliner there, and obviously the balloon's separate as well. I hope you really enjoy this. Make yourself some Christmas decorations. Uh, make yourself, or make some for your children, we put that way. Quite flat. I'm sure you'll be able to find designs that everyone likes. Happy crafting!